Hello, and welcome back to the Cold Space program. My name is WWD Dadman, but you already know that we are launching the Moonlander Mark 1. And I am recording this exactly immediately after the first uh, episode of this week because I don't want to have to reload this ship since apparently that breaks stuff. Uh, SAS on, this is a night launch, I am sorry about that, that wasn't supposed to be, um, well, uh, three, two, one, launch. Does the part test contract complete right away? All of our Kerbals are looking to be in fine condition. going to collapse this a little bit because don't need it really need surface indication in right now and makes this a whole lot easier to look at honestly Starting a gravity turn. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're probably seeing the boosters uh, fall back into four corners again, because... Um, I don't see why I wouldn't do that. Or just like one video somewhere on the screen, like down in this area or somewhere, or up in this, I don't know where I would put that. Probably right now up in this area, because that's the least of your concern right now. Um where I land all of them at the same time because they are pretty close to each other definitely want to keel over here a bit already at the apoapsis of 24 with our time to apoapsis being almost a minute.
This is pretty nicely controllable, by the way. Very much unusual for Kerbal Space Program these days for the uh, rocket to not flip out of control. <coughs> I should really be burning at the horizon. Interesting would be to see where this lands. Probably like, by the time we are done burning the stage, that's gonna land like over here somewhere. Okay, we are about to run out of Delta V in this. Just about when we get our apoapsis to space. Which is good. Gonna let this fly up to space first. We've got three hundred meters per second left in the tank. We are officially in space. We have an apoapsis of 80. Get the last 100 meters per second out of here. And that's a, a fucking orbit. Um, that was a bit much.
That's better. Okay, so... Boom. I said boom. Get that back into space. Um, just imagine I decoupled these before or that this is just openable. These fall back on parachutes, don't worry about it. They're not debris. Okay, so this stays in orbit and goes to the moon. Uh, for now, SAS off. Um, and we land our stuff. Why didn't you recover those right the Huh? Um... I had all of those landed. Going to jump back to main mission in a second. After this. And... Uh, we're going to see. Yeah, I'm basically gonna go ahead and um, trigger these because it doesn't matter. Um, also, we are going to land next to KSC. I'm a bit amazed. <laughs> we have like 78 meters per second in case we are about to burn up.
Yeah, we're still landing in the desert or something. At the desert launch site there, maybe we hit that. That is on our second pass or something? What the hell? Because this doesn't seem like that is automatically spinning by the way I'm not doing anything Um, what are you doing? Why? Dude, why? I'm fine with it though. We're not that far away from the desert launch field.
Coming down in the desert. That's fine though. meters per second nice Jump back to main mission. And now we see that those two are recovered. Let's see. Contract for testing the back is complete. The recovered back booster for a 90% and the recovered booster core for 58%. And Why do I have five debris running around? Why is that deep? That's still from, okay. No, that, that doesn't exist. That's debris that doesn't exist. I'm sorry. Um, that's still the Mark one debris. That never existed. That already landed. Don't worry about it. Um, on our next orbit. Going to encounter the moon. Focus view. Um, we're going to. Basically do this. Yep. That happens in 26 minutes. For now we go. Um, we go back to the space center. That's the launch clamps. That should be four. Yeah. Then I do not understand why uh, it didn't recover the booster course. Because that's basically like... What is that debris? You shouldn't have debris. I used a stage separator instead of a decoupler. You kidding me? No, that was still attached. It was a stack separator. 
instead of a decoupler. Okay, so... This is obviously going to burn up in the atmosphere. This is actual debris that's not in orbit because I misclicked and used the wrong uh, separator. That's my bad. That's the only part that is lost, officially. The boosters all landed back. For some reason, FMRS did not uh, recover automatically on the other three. I do not know why that did not automatically recover. Because it should be. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and land them separately again. So holy crap, better time warp, please. Uh, physics warp. Okay. Um, wait, you can't slow mo? Oh, really? Cool. Uh, advanced settings, standard physics, can I, physics settings, ah, doesn't matter. So yeah, apparently this actually did not burn, that's surprising. And it's falling into the ocean. So if by some miracle that comes down at less than impact tolerance, which for this is probably too high. Yeah, no, my, the impact tolerance of this thing cannot be above 50 meters a second. That's, that's bullshit. This can't survive a water landing at 60 meters a second. No way. That would be broken. Also, I currently pr probably have two sets of jab and bill. Yeah, so this did not do. Um, space Center. Since they should be in my uh, current... Uh, st currently still deorbiting debris... Let me real quickly see if I can select them in here. Jab and Bob are already... Uh, Jab and Bill are already back. Bill got his first star for going to orbit. Uh, however, Jab and Bill are also on the thing that just killed itself. already did um did i hit any like that did, did, did fmrs catch that to delete the thing i don't know
Either way, so as you saw, all the booster cores were recovered, and the only thing that actually fucked itself by ex by accident was the um, was the thing we just saw re-enter. That one stack separator that should have been a decoupler and not a separator. I should just remove stack separators from the game since I'm never going to use them. Either way, we have a minute to burn. Whoa! I'm burning too late. I wonder if it's possible to land the booster separate, like uh, at the same time, uh, and make FMRS spawn him in to recover yourself if you turn off the uh, auto recover. Because anything that's down and green should actually be like there. I'd love to know how that works. Five should be fine. We're going into an orbit there, then land, and then that's fine. However, all we're going to do in this episode still is go to the moon and into orbit. Still on um, pause. We are in the sphere of influence.
X um, EVA EVA report keep go back in And then we should be able to land in the next episode. Till then, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And until next time, I'm WWE Deadman. Bye.